this is Dr. Jamie and I'm going to explain how to use a um, plastic um, dome from Starbucks, um, some poster board, a compass, and a sharpie to be able to teach students how to track how the earth is moving while the sun is staying still by tracking the shadow of the sun. So the first thing will be to teach your students about how to use a compass, teaching them to keep it very flat. Once they can figure out which direction north is, by looking at the red, they can turn their piece of paper so that it mimics where north is located. Then what they can do is take their dome and lay their dorm on top and mark out where all of the cardinal points of the compass located. I usually would add in a north so that whenever they come back they know where to place it. Then using that sharpie they would figure out what time it is as in right now it is around it's 10 o'clock in the morning on the sol um, sum summer um, solstice and you go and you're looking for the shadow of the marker. So right now the shadow of my marker is right on the center of the X. So now I'm going to slowly move my marker in, keeping it so that the shadow is right in the center. And then when it hits the dome, I make a mark. So you can see there we have a nice mark and you can write down 10 o'clock. When I do this with students, we do this every hour during the day, usually with small groups of kids, so that everyone in the class had a chance to collect data. And then at the end of the day, we can look at what the data showed us. And they saw that we, if the, we go off the fact that the sun is staying still, we, if the earth was staying still as well, the same, the shadow would be in the same location every hour of the day. But when they look at their data over a whole day, they will notice that each hour the shadow moved. And we have also done this, right now we're, this is a summer one, we've done it during the, um, the fall equinox and the winter equinox. And they can see how the tilt of the earth changes where the shadow of the, the sun appears each hour during that day. Okay, so we came back at 11 o'clock. I make sure that again we're matching with the direction of the compass. Make sure that our marks on the dome are march matching up with our cardinal directions. And then again, taking in the marker, finding the shadow, getting the shadow into the center of the dome, and slowly moving in. So here we have 11 o'clock on the um, summer solstice. You see the, we have proof that the earth has moved um, because the sun has stayed still. We've moved it, the shadow a little further. So I just collected the data from 12 noon. And you can see here on the summer solstice in Portland, Oregon, the data point was almost at the top of the dome um, where you can actually collect data. So if you live further south of Portland, Oregon, um, closer to the equator, you may need to get a dome that doesn't have a hole in the center. But if you compare it to data from other times of the year, this is data my students collected from the fall equinox. You see that we start at nine in the morning where when we started school and collected data during the whole day and it's definitely enough room away from the top and then you can compare it to data from the winter where at nine o'clock it almost was not showing up on the dome and then shows a very low arc in the sky. 
So after having a day of collecting data, you see here you can see the path of the shadow of the sun from morning to night on the summer solstice, um, showing that the Earth is rotating and we're getting data for every poor hour. And well, so what my kids had done again is again here we had it in the fall where we started at the beginning of school day ended at the end of school so we didn't get all the data points but most and then being able to compare it to what it's like on the winter equinox and what's nice about these domes is that you can then stack them and line them up with the cardinal points and be able to compare sort of the how the, the angle of the earth changes how we see the sun's path. You can also then transfer it just to one dome to make it a little bit clearer. What's also cool with this is that you have a way to show students about um, the daylight savings time shift. So you can see here um, at 9 o'clock in the winter it actually lines up with 10 o'clock in the fall. So we have the hour change in the that time of the year. Another exciting thing you could try with your students is to collect data at the different times of the year um, starting in the fall winter and then comparing the fall to the spring equinox and then be able to um, have partner schools at different parts of the United States, different parts of the world and have them be able to share their data to show that depending on where you are on our planet the way that they view the path of the sun may look a little bit different.